Hey guys, what's up? Just wanted to show you uh, the project I've been working on the last couple of days. So this is a double-headed, conjoined, dead skull flesh thing that I am going to have in my uh, real-time short film that I'm uh, making probably seen the other stuff that I've posted recently so this is going to be one of the assets in the uh, in the film so this is the base sculpt in ZBrush and as you can see I've uh, retoppoed the asset quickly just using Z Remesher so I have a low resolution mesh uh, which I'll be using actually inside on Unreal Engine And this is the uh, high resolution sculpt. And what I did before I started texturing is I painted up some um, mats for different areas that I wanted. I know I wanted to separate out in uh, Substance Painter where I did the texturing. So after uh, this is all done, I exported the low res and the high res and then also this texture map and then import it all into Substance Painter and here is the work in progress texturing of this guy in Substance So I baked out my normal maps and all the other maps uh, in Substance Painter with the excuse me with the high res and low res. And I find that uh, the new Substance Painter's uh, baking algorithm is uh, really fast and much more accurate than the ZBrush one, to be honest, for normal maps anyway. For displacement maps, you probably still need to use ZBrush. But anyway, here's the uh, here's the asset. So I think he's probably about eighty percent done. I just need to um, bring him into Unreal uh, and see how he looks with uh, the rest of the the scene, just to make sure that everything um, is all correctly sitting in the same color space and same sort of tone of values and stuff like that so but yeah it's looking pretty creepy so I use the mats that I brought in to mask out um, the teeth the stringy things fleshy things and uh, you can quickly just scrub through the layers if you're interested so here's the stringy part Here's the teeth, and here's the base. So pretty straightforward texturing setup, nothing too complicated. Um, keep it simple, and uh, yeah, so we'll see uh, how that looks in a few days uh, when I take this guy into Unreal. Yeah, this is just another lighting HDRI, just to check how they look in different lighting situations. So, I hope you like him, and uh, have a good day.